Hey, welcome back to another episode on Life on Living Well. My name is Richard and I'm going to present some topic I have for you today. I call it the path of mercy. First, before we start the podcast straight away, I would like to say thank you for your time for listening to this platform and channel and thank you for supporting the community and thank you for your time and once again if you are trying to reach me you can write directly to this following email you can write to me to richard.anthony at lifeforlivingwell.info or you can just send your email to hello at lifeforlivingwell.info Once again, my name is Richard and the topic I have for you today, I call it the path of mercy. You might wonder what that topics have to do with me, especially it's not the common word that people speak in their daily vocabulary. It's not something that you hear every day unless you are in the court. And when the lawyer plead with the justice to plead to tender justice with mercy. But I wanted to bring it to other parts of our life that we can barely function as a human being without exercise mercy to ourselves or to others. It takes courage to love unlovable person. If you look around you, it's easier to walk away, it's easier to cut people off from your life. But to really, really take a lot of courage to find in your heart to be able to love unlovable people. Who are the people that are unlovable? I'm not talking about people with a narcissistic personality, I'm not talking about toxic energy, I'm talking about people that have a character defect, people that they get stuck in their trauma view and they have not involved in any barrier. Society expects a lot from them, they in their physical age, or their emotional age, psychological age, they are like stuck. And because of this lack of the effect of their own character, it becomes like a big flower with a smile. If nothing more is happening to your heart, you get pressed with a big flower. Yeah, the same that someone that has everything but the lack of character to keep or having a social connection with anyone. So, the part of mercy is the habit of letting go. So, meaning that you get to a point in your life that you find mercy within you to release the past pain, to release the quickie of the others, to let people be who they are rather than what you want them to be. It is very difficult to forgive inadequate of others. We constantly judging people if I ask you to keep a diary one day when you have a thought, you might not usher the word out. People might not even know you judging them because you smile to them. But you judge them about the shoes they wore, you judge them about the clothes, you judge them about the choices of friends they make, you judge them even the way they speak. And if it's judgment, it's become an habit to you, you just do it in autopilot. when you embrace mercy into your own life and it's something that driven your life that you become more compassionate you become more tolerant of others you become even more putting yourself in a situation where it trigger your sympathy and empathy of that so not in a dogmatic way but in a way that increase and allow you to grow as a person.
But the secret to every greatness is through mercy, not the dogmat. I'm not suggesting that you should allow people taking advantage of you. I'm suggest I'm tell I'm suggesting that you should embrace mercy into your own life first. Many people are criticizing themselves with the choices they made in the past. They continue to condemn themselves until you learn to give yourself the advice you will give your best friends. So when I stop these people and I say, wait a minute, if your friend comes to you and they just told you what you've been telling me for 10 minutes, what kind of advice you give them? And the person will turn around and you will be more gentle, more soothing, more comforting. But they can't seem to do the same for themselves. Many people that have a pet, their pet have the best insurance cover when it comes to eggs. Their pet have the best, uh, they know when the pet is not well, but they are not seem to do the same thing for themselves. When they are not well, you don't even know until they broke down completely. So when you embrace mercy into your life, into your lifestyle, you begin to release emotions that you have no control about it. You have no control about what happened to you in the past. But how you react to it, you have control about it. So you show mercy to yourself by being taking courage to release and let go. And you can only extend this thing to anyone else when you have it already with yourself. There is a common African proverb that says, beware of a naked man that offer you a cloth. So meaning that anyone that are trying to give you what they don't have themselves, don't believe them. So you cannot be showing mercy to anyone if you haven't shown it to yourself. Okay, you want to go hiking? It's raining. Show mercy to yourself. You have no control over the nature, but you have control how you react to it. So the path of mercy entails many doors, but the fruit of your labor is sweet. So. In order for you to develop a mercy, it's not something that will just arrive into your life all of a sudden. The life situation will brought you to there. And you will come across people that will need you. You will come across people that will help you. You will come across people that will want to take advantage. But the only thing that keep your state intact is being merciful and the reason why i said be merciful you begin to realize that you really don't have a lot of control in a lot of things it's an illusion to believe that you yourself alone is in charge of the how most things that will happen in your life have a control of it but the moment you know what you have control about, what you don't have a control about, you begin to see how even it's powerful to surrender. Because the thing you have no control about, you should not hold on to it. And it takes mercy to release this thing. Because by nature, women beings have a basic need for security. And in order to get secure, we come up with a lot of different way of wanting to get security. But the above woman need desire is freedom. But there is no freedom without security and there's no security without freedom. Everything interwoven. You do not need to give one up to get another one. But there's the two types of people that I meet a lot in my journey. People that go to extreme of freedom and they will do everything to get it. And the people that go to extreme of security, and they will go to extreme to do it. But the another 
set of people are involving. These are the people that they see oneness in both of these two shifts and they find to be in the middle where the need for security do not disturb their need for freedom. And they take a lot of emotional growth to get to this stage. While you are working on your inner, inner wounds, you will need a lot of mercy from yourself and others around you. So then you'll be able to exercise this way more. So let's quickly see what will happen in your life when you begin to embrace mercy as a trait and, a, and, and as, a, as a way of life. Abraham Lincoln, for example, throughout his, brought his friends close and even brought his enemy closer to him. So this is difficult for a lot of folks to do, to forgive other people's quakes. We just say then we say, oh, I cannot see to understand that person is too emotional. I cannot see to understand that person is not mentally engaging with me. Or you fail to see that if you pay attention or not, this person will have only two things that they can teach you. Just because you stop to think that it is really comfortable for you, and that person brought you out of your comfort because of your own nature. So the need to learn is to be like the one. So be merciful and help you a lot to go through your life and maybe with so many different kinds of people. You still have people that make your heart jump, or you still have people that brought the best out of you. But when you get to the place where you evolve, you become more where you exercise a mercy that you see people the way they are, not the way they want you to see them. You see people the way they are, not the way you want to see them. You see people that. They were far, far away from their journey. You see people that they are ahead of their journey. You see people that they are where you are. Only when you can say this thing, then the mercy can only be triggered within you. But if you only say what from your own view alone, it is impossible to show mercy to anyone. Mercy allows you to value relationship over being right. When you embrace mercy into your life, you begin to value more your relationship. Because what it does to you is to see how, how insignificant of being right could be in most things. But because our ego is so attached to it, we tend to blow off our relationship just because to be right. Mercy allows you to show love to unlovable, either through the character defect or personality challenge. So people that struggle with their woe character, not necessarily that they are narcissistic. It could be the, it could be because of the mental health things. But if you don't develop a tolerant in within yourself through your mercy, it is important to accommodate this kind of people. Don't need to be their close or best friends, but when they when you share space together, you do not need to be drained of energy either. When you know how to protect your own energy and you also know how to extend mercy to them. Mercy we build your tolerance level and courage to accept people the way they are. What most people do, especially in romantic relationship, is to idealize the person they are seeing. And the only way you accept someone is to see them the way they are. 
rather than the way you want to say them or the way they want you to say them. Because everybody is trying to present themselves a certain way. Massive increase of your awareness and encourage to improve your well-being, emotional, physical, psychological, and spiritual. No longer running away from boredom. I've seen that people employ so many techniques to avoid boredom. But when you begin to embrace all your experiences and your emotions, one thing you develop that your mercy will allow you to improve your emotion, transcending them in a way that supports your personal growth. Again, mercy bring life and honor into your life because the people that you interact with, they feel good about themselves. In the other side, they give it back to you. You know, there's a basic law of the universe that whatever you put on the ground, you get back. If you will be merciful to somebody, you get it back. And Isaac Newton taught law, which is law of physics, says to every action, that's equal and opposite reaction. If you are cruel, you get cruel back. If you are disinterested, you get disinterested back. So what do you want? What do you need? And these are the questions that we don't tend to ask or we ask too much and we have lack patience to wait for the answer. We create one. So to bring this to the end, just think and look in, into the past. Think of two or more people that have changed the course of history because of their massive action. Than they. And I can give you more than one, more than two. I can give you a load of people. And you can also know one or two people that you can see that their special character trait are the one that bring peace and minimize the bloodshed, reduce the pains and suffering. So, folks, let us walk in our own mercy today. Who will you show mercy to today? I suggest start with yourself. Stop over-criticizing yourself. Stop comparing yourself to people that you don't even know only because you went to school with them and they are now in social media, on Instagram, on Facebook. And you feel like because you went to school together, you must have the same outcome. No, that is wrong. So, show mercy to yourself. Begin to live your life in a way that mercy will allow you, help you to choose the things that you have control about. You have control to start again. You have control to decide what you want for your life from today. So I hope and my prayer for you today that may you find mercy to overcome whatever difficulties or challenges that you're going through right now. And if you have any question to me, as I said earlier, you can always send me an email to reach out to me if you have to leave me on the info. Or you can write to hello at www.com. And if you'd like to know more about what you have to leave me on, you can check us out on our website at www.com. I hope they have to like podcast. Hope someone this week. Whatever you do, keep safe and have an amazing week. Thank you.